Hello, I'm Preston McCauley and welcome to AI Quick. Today I'm going to be showing you some examples of how to use large language models in unique, fun, and exciting use cases. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today we're going to talk about image and vision models. So uh, there's been a lot of movement in these lately and specifically on the local side of LLMs. If you think about vision models, what they actually do is they analyze the various characteristics that exist inside of images. So you can have a lot of opportunity to do really cool new things when you can look at an image, which of course then will translate later to even looking at videos. Now there's been a few models around for a while now. We've had uh, generative AI system uh, vision models rather uh, from Google and even from OpenAI. Now this new models that are available on Llama and Olama, excuse me, are actually uh, Mini CPM and uh, Quen. Now both of these perform fairly similar in my experiments and examples and so I wanted to show you a little code example and this is a GitHub that you can go out there try and play with yourself. I designed a simple uh, system to basically be able to do a complex image analysis uh, with these different systems and just like that you can see that you're able to understand scenes and settings and what's inside of the image. But I've also added the ability to be able to chat with the image, or in my case, in this particular example, I've allowed you to be able to chat with multiple images. So I'll let you take a quick look here at some of the code structures and you can see how this kind of comes together. All right, so this is actually a little sample of the code that we're gonna be talking about here. Uh, as I mentioned before, the objective here is to uh, break down the analysis step by step using Olama. Uh, I also have a custom mem memory manager class that I use here. In addition to that, I convert the image to base64. And then after that, I uh, pull the image and I create a prompt structure to start to identify what's in the individual images that are passed into the, the array. From here, uh, there's a couple different things that I'm analyzing from the image structure. It is the subject, the colors, and notable elements. 